Hello, Driving Intelligence community. This is the season of reduced catalyst efficiency, Bank 2. I've got two of these I'm dealing with after dealing with the one on my 2002 F-150. The first one is an Explorer, which is the subject of this video, but I've also got one I'm dealing with on a 2013 Ford F-150 EcoBoost. Stay tuned. Before moving on with this video, please take a moment to crush that like button and be sure to comment, subscribe, and share. This is the best way you can support my channel and ensure YouTube pushes my content onto other viewers. And with that out of the way, let's get on with the subject of this video. A little over a year ago, Randy brought this Explorer to me with 161,000 miles on it. He was experiencing extreme engine miss. I ran diagnostics on it, got no DTCs, but since the vehicle had 161,000 miles, I decided to go ahead and replace all the coils and spark plugs that immediately resolved the issue. Shortly after that, he went to Florida for some vacation time, ended up with another extreme engine miss, took it to a Ford dealership. They diagnosed it as a bad injector driver in the ECM. They replaced that, that resolved the issue. And then again, shortly after that, he had another check engine light, took it to a local parts store, who told him that he needed a new oxygen sensor upstream on bank two. I don't know what the diagnostic code was, but they did go ahead and replace that oxygen sensor. It didn't fix anything. After returning to South Carolina, he brought it to me. I started doing some data logging just to see what was going on. And here you can see the initial data logging that indicates that uh, generally everything's running pretty good. Uh, bank one sensor two and bank two sensor two downstream oxygen sensors are indicating that they're uh, they're running pretty good. But when I ran the diagnostic trouble codes, I got a P0430 indicating catalyst efficiency bad on bank two. Initial indications are that we have a bad catalytic converter on bank two. And this leads me to why I gave you all this background. Randy was experiencing a lot of engine misses and those engine misses can have a, a very bad effect on the catalytic converter. They can cause damage to the catalytic converter cannot be reversed and therefore you get a P0430 code. To confirm it is a bad catalytic converter causing the P0430, I'm going to perform one final test. Testing involves measuring both inlet and outlet temperatures of the catalytic converter. To do that, I'll use my infrared thermometer, which I'll link below. Basically, the catalytic converter is an engine that's used to convert unburnt hydrocarbons and oxides of nitrogen into carbon dioxide, water, and nitrogen. During this conversion, a massive amount of heat is generated, so the temperature going into the catalytic converter should be lower than the temperature coming out. And just in case you didn't know it, plants and trees thrive off of these compounds coming from your exhaust. I'll use an image of the catalytic converter from a fifth generation Ford Explorer with a 3.5 engine to demonstrate the test. This image shows the orientation of the catalytic converter located between the engine and the radiator. I'll point the infrared device at the exhaust manifold to measure the temperature entering the catalytic converter and compare it to the temperature of the exhaust coming out of the catalytic converter after fully warming the engine and holding at 2000 RPMs. Exhaust gas temperatures must be higher than the inlet gas temperature for the catalytic converter to pass the test. Moving to the actual test, as I move back and forth between the inlet and outlet of the catalytic converter, the test indicates the unit is bad and must either be replaced or mass the O2 signal as I did with my 2002 F-150 by using a spark plug defouler or a device specifically designed to mass the signal as shown in this image. As pointed out in my prior video, this is not legal and if you live in a state that performs emissions testing, you will surely fail the test. Randy chose the extension to mass the O2 signal versus a new catalytic converter. After installation, I used data logging to confirm oxygen in the exhaust stream is being masked from the ECM. Comparing the signal to the data logs before the repair shows a much more stable voltage for bank two sensor two, meaning less consistent oxygen in the exhaust stream and therefore a successful solution. I use my OBD tool that I'll link below to clear all codes and now this Explorer no longer has any DTCs relating to bad catalyst system efficiency.